Hello everybody, this is Jack Owen Parker with the Owen Parker Real Estate Team. I'm your real estate professional out here in Las Vegas and Henderson, Nevada. And today I'm out here in the southwest portion of the valley. And this is the Hayward, Collect Hayward Collection excuse me, um, by Polte Homes. And we're going to go ahead and take a tour of some of these models. What they do is they feature four models here. And I really like uh, these modern uh, touches that they've done to the exteriors of these homes. And also this model here is actually quite nice with this more traditional look here. So a look at the progression of the area in the neighborhood. Part of me, there's a plane coming right there. So uh, we are out here again. Um, so the 15 freeway is just uh, west here. And to your right would be California and to the left would be all this strip. So um, go ahead and relax and enjoy this tour. And if you have any comments or questions, please ask and please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. All right, so the model I'm gonna show you today is the Cameron. This is your single story home. The price starts at $668,000. It's 2,180 square feet. Uh, you can always add on to that as well. And uh, also this house, uh, features three bedrooms, two baths, and a two-car garage. So uh, let's go check out this nice little home here. Come on in. And I have not been in these homes yet, so we are going to be exploring it on our own. Okay, so when you walk in, you're going to notice this nice little entryway here. I got a chandelier in the middle. I'm sure that it's gonna be a plumbed uh, item here. You can go ahead and probably put whatever you like there. So when you wrap around to the front of the house to the left, uh, you have your laundry room here, which is a little unusual, but it is here and it is kind of nice because it will uh, be kind of away from the interior of the house. So I imagine there won't be much noise uh, with this. Here's your smart devices here. And then through here, uh, this looks like it's a uh, security system. So uh, we can't go back here. That's the garage. Of course, it's locked. And over here, you have your standard coat closet when you walk in. This home does feature round corners. Uh, I always make a big deal about those. Um, but yeah, round corners are nice. They're a little soft. Uh, however, I do prefer uh, the nice sharp edges. So if you come here from the entryway to your right, you're going to have this uh, doorway here, and that leads you to a bedroom, a bathroom, and one more bedroom up here in the front. So let's go ahead and start up here. So this bedroom uh, is in the front of the house, as you can see. And uh, it's a nice size. It's your standard room. I do like the molding that they put up in this room here as well. And you have your standard closet here. That's just your standard wall closet. Uh, although it is sufficient uh, for whomever's gonna stay here, either a guest room, child's room, or an office, whatever you wanna make it. And then if you come over here, you're gonna have a... They did use gold brass fittings um, for the uh, house, uh, throughout the house with the bathrooms and the kitchen. And over here, you're going to have your single vanity, although it's fairly large, and uh, got some nice cabinets here. And this is a nice kind of like a chocolate uh, gray tone. And I do like the floor that they put in this house. It is sharp looking, uh, makes everything look fairly nice and clean, and it does open up the interior really nice. So through here is your second bedroom. It's kind of set up like a child's room. Uh, it's about the same size as the other room, but it is a sufficient size. And I do like that it's here because it still is kind of away from the house in the front. So this has your standard height doors, which is probably six and a half feet, uh, seven feet in this home. And so if you wrap around back here to the front, I'm going to back up here because this entryway is beautiful. Uh, you're going to notice on the left here, so it's set up like an office. This also could be an extra bedroom if you 
care to do that. But some nice double doors in this would look really sharp. And this room is a lot bigger than the other rooms. And I imagine if you make it a bedroom, you're gonna have to put a closet somewhere. So keep that in mind. You're gonna lose a little bit of square footage with that. And then come back here to the back of the home. This is gonna feature your living room. It's gonna feature a kitchen in the corner here, and we'll go through that. And a pantry in the corner there. And they made this set up like a little bit of an entertainment bar area, which I kind of like. So I guess in this home, you would bring your dining room kind of together, or I imagine this would be your dining room in this home. So the living room here is quite big. It is open to the kitchen area. And uh, this backyard is absolutely beautiful. Even though it's small, a lot of yards here are small. So this does give you kind of a nice idea of what you can do with them. But I really like that they put that fireplace right there in the middle. So again, your living room is here. Uh, they did put some nice smoothish kind of finishes uh, on the wall, but just a slight amount of texture. But what I do find interesting is this line on the ceiling here. Uh, in fact, that's the first time I've seen that, and I imagine it's there for expansion and contraction uh, when it gets hot out. So that's the only thing I think about that channel. So your kitchen, it looks like you're missing your wall oven here. Uh, I absolutely love the tile that they used in this house. Uh, very beautiful. It's like a grayish uh, color. And you have a cooktop stove. And then you have your double sink here. And this is interesting. I haven't seen this uh, design yet, but this is really pretty. And they did this nice kind of grayish black uh, double sink here. And it's also, it's uh, if you notice, it's insulated. So it's pretty good quality. And then over here you have your dishwasher featured. And this kitchen does have quite a bit of room in it. And what I do like over here is they put kind of a smaller uh, eat, eat, eat in area over here. And that could kind of serve as a breakfast, lunch, dinner area for your family. So let's uh, wrap back over here into the bedroom. And I'm going to back out so you can get a view of the entire area here. And here is your master, your rather your primary bedroom. It's getting so hard to actually remember that. I really like the grass cloth they used in this home. And these are super nice, unusual light fixtures here. And I do like that they put them there. I'm not sure if that's a standard feature, but uh, needless to say, you can actually add those as well. Uh, and this room is pretty big. And your ceilings in this house, I believe you're standard eight feet. So uh, it does feel bigger than it is, however. And if you did notice that the flooring does wrap around through the house, which does give it a bigger feel. So the primary bathroom here has a double vanity sink area here, and it has a really large uh, cabinets, uh, cabinetry. And uh, these are actually quite nice and quite deep. So this is plenty of storage in the bathroom. And I really love this bathtub here. I do imagine this is a feature you might want to order. Uh, it might even come with your standard large soaking tub. And then over here is your corner shower and they have the nice brass fittings as well uh, through here. Uh, back here is your walk-in closet and it's a pretty good size for this home. And although it's uh, completely customizable, I could put one of those nice closet systems in here. So, uh, and then this is your bathroom here, but it is locked actually. So this kind of concludes the tour of this model. And uh, I really like this house. Uh, it does give you a lot of space. 
they are built by Pulte. This is a really good builder. And uh, this whole area is building up quite nicely. Uh, and it's going to just become a beautiful area on here. So uh, thank you guys so very much for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. And if you're looking for uh, a home to buy or to sell your home, or even just have any questions, please always reach out to me. I'm always happy to help. So this is Jack Owen Parker with the Owen Parker Real Estate Team. Have an amazing day and please like and subscribe. And I will put all my information up here on the video as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.